Also new tonight at 11, early voting just one day away, and one of the biggest races in Metro Atlanta is in Fulton County, and it's the sheriff's race. And this afternoon, the candidates came together for a forum in Atlanta. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles was there, and she's live at the sheriff's office to break down those important moments. And Teresa, I'm sure the candidates had a lot to say tonight. They did, Ron. I'm at the Rice Street Fulton County Jail, and tonight, excuse me, this afternoon, candidates discussed overpopulation, the budget, board of commission relations, and staffing shortages. But what the community really wanted to know was how the next sheriff is going to put a stop to deaths inside these walls. And county voters have a big decision to make. Who should lead the sheriff's office next? Lives could literally be on the line here as there has been constant criticism about cell conditions and inmate casualties. Four sheriff's office candidates stood in the church pulpit to talk to the community about this directly. The first audience question got the conversation going, each candidate addressing what they think will solve the problem. Candidate Kurt Beasley sharing that there should be more check-ins. We need to get the staffing levels up so that we can make those security rounds, engage with the detainees. We can't allow them to control the jail. We have to control the people who are living at the jail. Incumbent Sheriff Patrick Labatt goes on to explain that despite the vacancies, there have also been hundreds of hires in the past few years. Candidate James Brown stating it's not an excuse. Brown says violent detainee deaths weren't nearly as common when he worked for the sheriff's office while understaffed. If it was a death, it was unpreventable death, maybe because of a medical issue or maybe because of suicide. But the deputies are doing a 30 minute round. We've reported at least three inmate deaths already this year. The most recent 37 year old Leonard Fortner was stabbed and killed while locked up three weeks ago. And candidate Joyce Farmer took a few shots using another case. They are doing their job for the few that's there. However, if they was doing their jobs, Mr. Thompson wouldn't have been found weeks later with them bugs. Farmer is referring to LaShawn Thompson, who died in a filthy cell eaten alive by bed bugs about a year ago. Labatt argues that the jail is out of its life cycle. And when it comes to the violent deaths, he defends his staff, stating that it's the inmates' progressively worse behavior to blame. We have the worst of the worst, and they're attacking each other inside. Preventable deaths is one conversation. We have a more violent criminal, and anyone who doesn't understand that absolutely doesn't need to be running for sheriff. The debate lasted uh, about an hour, and we'll have a full link to the entire forum on 11alive.com. Live in Atlanta, Teresa Bowles, 11alive News. All right, Teresa.